shop in Wexford that's having a global impact. Olive Branch sells fair trade products, but they also serve as a community center of sorts, hosting all kinds of activities. Here with the details on how it all ties together and how they're helping communities are Mary Sheehan and Ladies, I was just so impressed with what you're doing here uh, when I heard about Olive Branch. So tell us a little bit about what you do, what, what Olive Branch is. Okay. Actually, the Olive Branch started almost 43 years ago, and it was a dream of some of the people at Salem United Methodist Church in Wexford. And it was a dream of being able to help people in areas of the world uh, okay. change their lives and become empowered. And so the idea was to, to perhaps start a little shop where some of their handcrafted items could be made. Actually, a fair trade shop. And this was 1975. And fair trade wasn't really... Wasn't happening anywhere no, like that, No, people didn't right. really know what that was. So this was a new idea to start it. And uh, so the church backed the idea with a loan of $300, <laughs> which allowed us to uh, purchase some handcrafted items and pay $75 a month rent in a little motel room oh my in goodness. Wexford. Yeah, so. And how often did you sell your items back then? How often? Yeah, I mean, was it every day? Or was well, it, it was just... several days a week okay. we did, yeah. Okay. Um, but it began to catch on. and. Um, people um, found out about it and we taught people about it. So that was just fair trade. And now here we are almost 43 years later and the mission has grown a lot. Yeah. yeah. And I think I can demonstrate that a little bit with a little gift I have oh, for you of a t-shirt. This is our t-shirt. And the play front of fair. it is play <laughs> fair. And that's a good a phrase to demonstrate <laughs> the fair trade portion of what we do, that, that the items that are in the shop are produced in a fair way, the people are paid in a fair mm -hmm. way, uh, the, all the business practices are fair, they're fairly paid, the, it's environmentally uh, sustainable, all those things. And then, so that's uh, the fair trade part, but we are also much more now. Um, in the back of the t-shirt, demonstrates even more. Meaningful shopping, meaningful living, Olive Branch, Wexford. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the items because you do have a physical location where people can right. come and shop. So you brought some of these items uh, with you today. We have this lovely purse and some, some other things here, socks, scarves. Uh, tell, tell us about some of the items that you have acquired here on the table. Okay, Vivian, do you want to? These items come from all around the world and we deal with certified fair trade organizations so that we're sure that the things that we have in the store are what Mary said, ethically produced, mm -hmm. environmentally sustainable and, and, and fair in the sense that the people who manufacture these get a fair wage for what they do. Right. And this is just a representative selection. We now have a brick and mortar store in Wexford. It's a little over two years old. So we're able to have a more a bigger variety of things and starting down there where you are that blue item is a yoga bag which we really need right now because among other things in our store we are offering a yoga class. Oh, so neat. So the ladies can come in if they need something for their yoga mat. Well, we even have some cards here. The cards are from El Salvador. They are manufactured Beautiful. or made by ladies who are victims of human trafficking. Oh, my goodness. And this helps them get off the street and get a healthier lifestyle. I wow. want to escape that. The what socks are really message. clever. Each sock, each color represents a different mission. So this one is fighting malaria. If you buy these socks, you're helping to plant trees, preserve the oceans give books, and I believe this one is uh, Feed Children, and there are some about education. There's one that fights HIV. And we some have, lovely scarves as well. Yes, we have several items here that are from um, uh, Bolivia and Peru, and I have to admit, it was really cold out when we put in this order, so we've got <laughs> lots of different things. Well, look at that. That's, is that we've a unicorn? Got, this is a unicorn. <gasps> unicorn oh, my yes. God. I think so, that I need that for my daughter. I think yeah. I can see kids at the school bus oh standing there with their goodness. unicorn hat. I would love that. Llama gloves. The, one of the nice things about fair trade is that it also does a lot of recycling and upcycling. And this, which even the guys come in and, and, and purchase, because it's a nice size to put in your, right. your iPad. And this is made from the tubes from truck tires. 
Wow. So something that's ugly can become something very, very useful. Before we run out of time, I do want to ask one last question about the outreach that you all do. Yes, we wanted to be more than a fair trade store. We wanted to be a community gathering place. Mm -hmm. And so we also invite people to come in and help us with mission projects. Just a few examples. We make these purses here. We also make these hygiene kits. These go to Africa and these go to Haiti. And they are supplied inside with things that girls need so that they can stay in school during their monthly cycle and don't have to stay home because they can't. Same. And we also have these for the community. These are little fidget blankets Cute. and these are for Alzheimer's and dementia patients so that they can keep their hands busy. busy Caregivers and even sometimes the patients come in and choose one of these. Well, thank you ladies. Uh, what started as a dream truly <laughs> turned into something I'm sure they never even thought possible for. It's a years. happy so, it's so. a happy place. We yeah. want everyone to come visit. Thank you so much yeah. for bringing some samples in and keep up the continued good work. Yeah. Thank you so much. You can visit Olive Branch at the location on Perry Highway in Wexford. The right across from Dunkin Donuts. We'll also have a link to their site posted at kdka.com slash PTL.